In this video, we'll go over the details of the spectral panel within the Virtual Tissue Simulator, or VTS. This panel allows users to construct absorption and reduced scattering coefficient spectra in the red and near-infrared region. On the left-hand side, you'll see composite tissue types that we've preloaded with absorber concentrations. References to the default concentration values can be found on the documentation subpage of the VP website. For example, clicking on skin and then plot mu-a spectrum allows you to visualize an approximate absorption spectrum in inverse millimeters versus wavelength in nanometers. You can hover over individual data points in order to visualize the absorption value at that specific wavelength. Moving over to the tissue types, you can plot various tissue types and compare them against each other. I'll clear this and then click on breast premenopause or optical properties of premenopausal breast tissue. If I plot the absorption spectrum, and then I plot the absorption spectrum of the equivalent postmenopausal breast tissue, you can compare the differences in the spectra. For example, you can notice that compared to premenopausal tissue, the water absorption peak at 975 is much lower, and the lipid peak is much more prominent. These composite spectra relate directly to these absorber concentrations that we have listed in this box. Feel free to edit the concentration values in these boxes to understand the contribution of each of the individual components. For example, if I were to change the deoxyhemoglobin concentration in micromolar to 10 micromolar, once you leave that box, that value is changed. If I then plot mu spectrum again, you'll see that compared to the green line, the new red line has a much higher absorption peak at the 762 nanometer wavelength. If you desire custom concentrations, click the custom box and feel free to edit any of these chromophores as is. In the future, we'd like you to be able to import your own spectra and plot those as well. Another thing to note is that you can modify these curves based on the total blood concentration or the blood volume equivalently in a volume fraction or based on the oxygen saturation of the tissue. To show that, I'll clear all of the graphs, go back to breast premenopause and plot the basic spectrum, and then I'll go ahead and say instead of 26 micromolar for total blood volume, I'd like 52 micromolar. I can plot the spectrum again and see that the absorption is basically doubled. I can furthermore reduce the oxygen saturation, say down to 25%, plot the spectrum, and again see the modification where the deoxy is much higher of a contribution and the oxy is a much lower contribution. The final absorption feature is the ability to get the absorption at a specific wavelength. Say you're interested in at 733 nanometers, you can update and get quantitative absorption and reduced scattering values at that wavelength. Speaking of scattering, you can do the same types of operations based on reduced scattering I'll clear all of the graphs, go back to breast premenopause again, and plot the mu-s prime spectrum. I'll go ahead and click postmenopause and plot that spectrum as well. And you can compare the differences in the scattering slope. By scattering slope, I'm referring to a power law dependence given by a relationship of mu-s prime equals a times lambda to the minus b. You can also modify a and b from within the interface say if I wanted A to be 1.5. I would plot the mu-s prime spectrum and observe the difference. Clearing the graphs, you can also plot scattering based on an intralipid concentration. In this case, you can plot it based on the volume fraction. Here would be 1% intralipid or 5% intralipid, for example. Finally, as with all the 1D plots in the plot view, you can export the data. You can export it as an image. I would say scattering spectrum. And if I were to minimize the desktop, you'd see that I'd have an image with this scattering spectrum. Alternatively, if you want to export the data, click export data. 
choose a file. This will create a text file. And if we look at that, you can see that we have tab delimited data where the wavelength is the first column and then the second column is the first graph, in this case the blue graph. And then you have the wavelength again and the corresponding green graph, etc. Okay, thanks for listening and let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section.